years I've been doing interviews. Yeah, I, uh, I got locked up 2010. I ain't been out here. Previous since. to that, I was I was out here. Yeah. You know, so that's what made me start doing the interviews and shit. Okay. All right. What's your name, brother? My name's Abel. All right, Abel. Where are you from? I'm from right here, Kansas. Okay. How old are you? 33. You got any kids? Yeah, I got a daughter. Okay. Uh, when the last time you seen your daughter had contact? About 10 years when I got when I went upstate. Oh wow. Okay, so a little while. Um, how long were you in prison for? 10 years. And I did two years before that for okay. possession of a firearm, and then I got 10, five to 10 for robbery, and I just maxed out December. Okay, where were you at? I was at Monahoy, Frackville, Forest, Gradyford, Camp Hill, Green. Okay, it. so you floated around a little. Yeah, all over. And uh, how long you been home? Since December 21st. Nice. When uh, did you max out, or you come home maxed on parole? Maxed out the whole time. Maxed out. Yeah. Okay. And uh. How long have you been? Let me wait for this train to pass real quick. Yeah, train. How long have you been out here in the street? Since the day I got out of jail. Okay. Yeah. Since um, about a, a little over a month. About a month. How did you find the transitioning from the streets to? I mean, from prison to coming right back out here oh, in the streets. Shit was tough. Even like just being out, you think I was excited, but just coming out here, I'm not used to being around the people. The way you know, everything changed since 2010. It's like nothing. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. And I, I did can't. 17 years, so I know what oh, it's yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. You and know what I mean? With all the coming out during this virus shit, you know, everything was closed. A lot of things weren't, you know, it's not normal. The way yeah. It's yep. Um, what's your habit like? Habit. Actually, I only, I get high like five, six times off of one bag. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, like I knew too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on some oxygen at prevention point, but I missed my appointment last Tuesday and they fucking took me off. So now I just went back to getting high. Is that a common thing that you see a lot of people struggle with when they're on the suboxone clinic? Like they miss an appointment or something and then they get, you know, yeah. taken off the program? They don't give us no way to get around. They expect us to just pop up you yeah I mean? find like, your way there yeah. it's really no concern of theirs no. how you get if I there got 250 i'm gonna spend that on food before i spend that on a uh, bus you know yeah 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 um what was it that made you get high for the first time pretty much curiosity like okay. uh just being upstate everybody talking about it and all that you know everybody hung with oh yeah and i was like oh so your first time getting high was yeah. and in it was prison? free like it was, like yeah, I don't pay for it. I, yeah. I never bought any dope. I get all samples for free every day. Wow. Yeah. So that that's that's something that I I uh, discuss here a lot on the channel, and I'm I'm glad you brought that up. So not only are drugs cheap here, but they're free yeah. at times, right? Every day, every day, yeah. multiple times a day. I get four or five bags a day for free. Wow. Yeah. That's that's crazy when you know when people that aren't familiar with addiction or familiar with this area yeah. don't understand. They'd be like, "How could drugs be free?" It's a whole you know new I mean? world out here. Yeah, it's it's uh you know it's a way of advertising. Um, what type of stuff do you experience out here? Oh man, thieves mm -hmm. can't put nothing down without I get stolen. Like if you didn't have the camera on me right now, I'm gonna have my back there, my shit would probably just disappear right there. Yeah, you know what I mean, and. Uh, Violence, you already know how I rip and running. Like, look at my hands, fucking busted, you know. I've yeah. been out a month, I've probably gotten 10 fights since I've been out, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's All right. Um, and where do you sleep at? Anywhere, really. Uh, I won't say the exact location, but yeah, it's, yeah, there's no, no, a bando no. right there. Okay. There's a see. couple of us set up, you know, we got power in there, we got wa a water, cold water. Okay. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, Jasper was more than or uh, Jasper was more than or either um, right there on Potter, High and Potter. Yeah. Yeah. There's a band though, but the cops I literally opened the door yesterday afternoon and walked right in and kicked me out. So. Okay. How do you feel the cops treat you down here? Like shit. Yeah. They're disrespectful. This morning, at, like where that red that red things hanging. Yeah. They came and they were the cleaning, so uh, they they threw my coat out in the street, a brand new jacket. Prevention point game. I pick it up, 
Why are the cops here and the cleaning people right in front of me? I, I hang it on the thing. Uh -huh. I start packing shit. I turn around. They fucking had it in the dumpster. Then I start asking, like, wow. They're like, yeah, it shouldn't have been up there. Like, you know I'm homeless. Look, this is all I got. Like, you know, yeah. And they fucking, they, they're disrespectful. Yeah. yeah. Super disrespectful. All right. Um, how do you see the women get treated out here? Because, you know, the women bad. got it bad out bad, here. Bad. Right? Yeah. I mean, to be honest, yeah, 90% of them are tricking, you know. Yeah. And they fucking, yeah, I mean. It's technically rape, but a lot of times they, they, they end up getting fucked and the dudes just burn them. Like, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what can you do? Yeah, right? Exactly. All right. Yeah. Um, you have any questions for me or anything? Yeah, not, nothing particularly, man. It was good doing an interview, but, you know, man. The world definitely should know Kenton. This is yeah, I mean, it's yeah, real life war zone out here. Like, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the package I gave you earlier for you and your homie was hey, from look, the young. Right yeah. Yeah, that's all over. Shell so case. look what he just picked up. There's one. I could probably find two more you know, if I walk half a block Shell away. casings. You know what I mean? So that just goes to show, you know, what it's like out here. Yeah, yeah. Um. But uh, the package is uh, I'm gonna I'm edit oh, yes, this out. Oh yeah, I want to thank Isabella. Ellis, yeah, Isabella for the packages. Hold on, excuse me. Thank you. Donated a lot of stuff for us out here in the streets. I want to thank you very much. That's, yeah, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm gonna. Make sure everyone that gets these packages knows that it came from you, Isabella. You know what I mean? Yep. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Bottom of my heart. I uh, thank you for your time, brother. Um, once again, I hope things progress whichever way you want them to go. I hope things get there sooner than later for you, brother. And uh, and uh, it's fucking train. I know it's fucking. Pleasure meeting you, and I thank you for taking a couple minutes to sit down with me, brother. All right? No doubt. Thank all right. you. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. All right. A wall T O F. You know what I mean? Two one five. Want to give a shout out to all the brothers out there. You know what I mean? Uh, Thor, keep it up. Salute. You know what I mean? Got you, brother.